Hi friends, welcome. Um, I'm very excited because in the coming weeks, I'm gonna be doing a lot of episodes on sleep and dreaming. So we'll have one about the, let's get my notes out here. We will have one on the purpose of dreaming according to um, psychology, mostly Jungian psychology and people who have branched off from that. Um, historical lens, how have dreams been viewed throughout the ages? And um, what do scientists think dreaming is for? Um, and then also we'll do an episode on the science of sleep and working with one's dreams and interpretations and symbols. But in order to get there or, or in order to truly enjoy those episodes, I think it's beneficial to start recording your dreams. And I know that some of you will think, well, I don't dream or, or if I do, it's super random and it doesn't make any sense and it probably doesn't mean anything. That's okay, but I, 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 I would encourage you to try this anyway. Um, I think it's a skill. I think anyone can learn it. I think it's just like playing basketball. Uh, you can learn how to shoot a free throw. You're not going to probably make it the first few times, but you can keep practicing and eventually maybe you'll make one. Um, and to do this, I've created a, a preparation guide here. Um, go to bed at the same time every night. Pick a time. Whenever you want to go to bed, go to bed around that same time every night. This is going to be um, crucial in the sleep science episode. We'll talk about what happens to your brain as soon as it goes to bed and all the different cycles and what's happening and all that. Um, next thing, ask yourself to remember. This is really easy. If you sleep alone, you can just say, self, allow me to dream tonight and please help me to remember it in the morning so I can write it down. Next, you booze and snooze, you lose. <laughs> that is to say, try to avoid alcohol within four hours of going to bed. Um, same with like caffeine and weed and sleeping pills. If you can do without them, try to do without them. Um, you'll find out why in the science episode. And it just helps to um, have a clear head so that your wild dreams can be uh, wild on purpose, I guess. Next tip, don't get out of bed. Don't move. As soon as you wake up, try to stay in the same place because as soon as you get out of bed, you're probably gonna forget whatever it was that you were just dreaming about. And then that leads me to the last one, which is keep everything within reach. You don't wanna have to get out of bed to grab a notebook or to grab your phone. You, you really should have it um, as easily accessible as, as possible. Now, Emily, what would you say is the best way to record your dreams? Well, other Emily, very glad you asked. Here are some, here are some options. And uh, I'm going to start with a voice memo. This is really easy if you sleep by yourself. Um, you're not going to bother everyone. You just pull up your app and speak whatever dreams or feelings or thoughts that you're having as you're still in that liminal space. Your eyes can still be closed. You might fall back asleep, but... Um, in that in-between time, um, you'll get to say as much as you can remember. Another way to do this is to do the talk to text feature on your notes app, whatever notes app you choose to use. Um, that's the one that I prefer. As long as my wife is up and out of the house, then that's the one that I like to use the best um, or the most frequently. And then um, there's of course the old fashioned way of having a notebook right there with a pen or a pencil. Um, that works too. Your dreams are probably going to be out of order. That's totally fine. Just write the write everything down as it's coming to you. So like, say you write down something and then you remember a scene um, that's totally different or it comes from a different dream or or and then all of a sudden you remember something from the previous one. It doesn't have to be linear. Just write it all down as it comes to you. No problem. Um, Another concern might be like, you don't want to sleep with your phone. That's fine. Um, find a voice recorder if you've got one. Um, in that old box in the garage with all those coax cables, you never know what might be in there. Um, another option is to get an old phone and just turn off the cell and the Wi-Fi features um, or an old tablet or whatever. Whatever you've got around you can use, you can make do. And then if you wake up and you don't remember anything, that's okay. 
that's okay. We're just getting into the habit of starting to do this. I would encourage you to write down something. So whether that's making a voice memo of how you're feeling that morning or a voice memo of a memory that just popped into your head or, or perhaps you can kind of remember a vibe that you were dreaming about or um, maybe a specific room. Even if you don't really know what it is, try to get it out on paper or through your phone or um, or through um, a voice recorder. Totally normal. And if you need an acronym to remember the, <laughs> the things to remember your dreams, um, I've made one for the word dream, okay? D, drugs. Again, you booze and snooze, you lose. Try not to do drugs, whether that's caffeine or alcohol or weed or sleeping pills or whatever. R, reachable recording mechanism. Try to keep everything within reach so you don't have to move. E, every night, same time. Just go to bed at the same time. Just try if you're able to. And then A is for ask. Ask yourself to remember. Um, ask yourself to dream, all that stuff. It's not weird. It sounds maybe weird, but it's not weird. And then M is for movement. Again, if you move it, you lose it. So try not to move. That's the whole keep it within reach idea. There you have it. There is your acronym for the word dream. I hope you have wonderful rest of your day. Um, if it is sunny, go outside. If it's not, bundle up and go outside. I don't know. Enjoy it. Do something kind for yourself or, or for someone else. And um, may you dream dreams. Take care.